Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to Embellishments on the 11th, hosted by Deb Hoax Crafty Cottage here on YouTube. Please check the description box. Everyone that's in the collaboration will be in there. Go over and check them out, show them some crafty love. I hope everyone is having a good day. Um, I'm doing okay. So last month, you know, I struggle. I like to make flowers and I want to make flowers, but I didn't. Anyway, long story short, I didn't do what I wanted to do last month, but I like the project, the end result, because I got a chance to use them and, and I'm going to continue to use them. So I made flowers this month for the collaboration. Um, if you have a die cut machine, you can use something like this to do that. It's a layer piece. Um, the one thing, and I know I know for a fact because I have an updated one, Crafter's Companion has changed these three little loose pieces. Like, why? Why would you do that to us? They have them on a solid piece. Um, so you don't have to, you know, because um, I used a scanning cut to cut my petals out. You don't have to have a scanning cut. You could use dies. You can even cut a circle and cut it down. I'm going to... Just quickly show you the, the things that I've made um, for this collaboration. You may have already seen some of them in other projects that I've done because I made these at the end of April. Okay, so it's a lot. I made a lot, lots, lots, lots. Well, it's not really a lot, but it's plenty. It's enough, right? And you know, I realized that I can't say, I don't know what I'm going to use this next because the next project I create may actually say I need some flowers, right? So I did all of those. And if you have a paper punch, I used my Fiskars Daisy Punch to make these. It's three popped up. This right here, I know is another little punch that I have that makes those. And some of this is from my scanning cut. So if you do have a die cutting machine, an electronic die cutting machine, all you need to do is go into Google. If you are a Googler and type in flower petal SVG free and they will come up. If you find the image, you can print it off and hand cut it. If you don't have a electronic cutting machine, I would not recommend trying to cut a thousand petals out. Um, I would probably buy a die if that was the case. But if you don't want to use all that, you, you don't have to. I'm going to quickly show you. We have some various pieces um, that we're going to make into a little quick flower. And um, I just felt like that needed to be added on. The one thing is this right here has this hole. And I'm going to show you how to, on another video, I haven't made it yet, but I plan on making it today since the big roommate's outside um because he's noisy i plan on showing you how to make some files so you don't have to worry about is this copyright infringement all right so here we go um i'm just going to show you how you can do it yourself and you can do it however you like all right so center i usually turn mine over so it's the center and here and you want to offset it especially if they're the same size when you have a, a larger, you know, I like to make mine larger to small, but if you have all the same size, you want to offset it until they start to overlap. And then you kind of just rent, what is it? Wash, rinse, repeat. I think that's how it goes. Make sure you try to keep, oh crap. Make sure you try to keep everything in the center. Now with these, since it has that hole in it, you need to go around the opening, that whole piece. You don't have to worry about the center not being glued down because we're going to fix that. I just I wasn't paying attention. So if you are the kind of person that wants to find crafts that you can do in front of the television, this is a television approved sit in front, sit on the couch or where your crafty space is and make flowers if you want to. Um, I tend to sit on the couch and play my video game and I like to be in silence when I'm crafting because I feel like my brain just operates a lot better when I am doing that so I'm just applying a little bit of pressure even though you don't need to do all that with the art glitter glue because you know it kind of dries really really quickly um, I like to apply some pressure just in case it's off the, the glue is off and it didn't sit it didn't um 
meet up very well. Now make sure you get it in the center because you can see that all of these are starting to lean to the right a little bit, which is not a big deal because not all flowers, all flowers are perfectly imperfect, right? None of them are exact same size um, in real life. So you got your petals all stacked up and this is okay, I guess, if you just want to keep a flat project, but why would you want to do this? So I'm going to just take my edges and I'm just folding them. If you have a, which I really like to do it this way, I've done it like that in the past for other projects. If you have an embossing folder, you can take your cutouts and run them through that. Cause I think sometimes we, when you use a die cutting machine, electronic cutting machine, you may feel left out. You don't have those little ridges on your machine that you would from your dies. You know, it's not embossed. So you can emboss it like that, or you can take it and run it through um, a flower petal making thing. So you can emboss all this and make it go up. But for the most part, we're just doing a quickie project. And I'm just going to fold this all up. Um, if you manipulate your paper, it's fine. It loosens up those fibers inside. Just remember not to do it too much because you could actually start to tear your paper. Now, if you want the tattered, torn look on your flowers, then that's okay as well. All right, so I did that little fold, and now I'm just going to go in. And you've seen me make flowers before, so. And I'm quite sure there are people out there that do it a lot better than I do that you've probably seen. It's a lot of really pretty flowers that I've seen people create with just like simple petals. That's why when I do a search, I usually type in five or six petals because those tend to be easier to create a random effect of more flowers than just um, three petals, right? But I've seen people take three petals and do amazing stuff with. So once you finish manipulating how you want to, and I keep making a form of a lotus flower. I think it's just this back piece that does that. You can put a center piece in and you um, will have flowers. So I hope that you've enjoyed this quick, quick how to um, have a garden in your craft space. I know that I had lots and lots of fun making all of these cool flowers. All right. So thank you all for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.